ancients looked at the world was that it was indicating an implicate order. In other words, everything that you saw on the surface indicated something underneath. So they saw it as indeed signs indicating something else. Just as you see a tree, if you understand anything about trees, you realize that the only reason the tree exists is because it has this massive root structure underneath the ground that you can't see. Now, once that root structure becomes seen, the tree dies. You see, the tree dies. So the unseen world is really the source of the seen world. The unseen world cannot come into the seen world because if it did, the seen world has to disappear. And so when you look at the seen world, what you're really supposed to be recognizing is what are the roots of the seen world. The roots of the seen world are the unseen world. And that is the same way that they look at the modern world. They look out there and they want to just analyze everything, but they never tell you what it means. They break it down. It's to reduce things to their components. And then we feel like we've achieved an understanding of the thing. Well, if you take a human being and take out their eyes, take off their ears, take off their hair, dissect them, open up their interior, examine their kidneys and their liver and all these things, do you understand what a human being is? Has that given you knowledge of what a human being is? Well, it's given you a certain knowledge about something about human beings, that they're composed of flesh and blood and they have hair and they have liver and kidneys and, and the kidney does this and the liver does that. That's a certain type of... But does that tell you about a human being that can think, that can speak, that can write poetry, that can paint pictures, that can play an instrument, that can do all these extraordinary things. It doesn't tell you anything about that human being. Why does he need to do those things? Why do human beings even pursue such pursuits? So that is the idea of trying to understand signs, is to look beyond uh, this superficial realm. Oh, oh.